muchachos! It's that time of year again. We're reacting to my old videos. Okay, I worked out too hard today. I can't get back up. My legs are so sore. <laughs> okay, um, let me waddle my way over. That's right. As you guys know, there's about 800 videos that are privated on this channel. All the way back from 2016 when I was a wee little YouTuber. And for the past two years, I've been taking you on a journey. Part one, starting from zero subscribers, all the way to part two, reaching 2,000 subscribers. I feel like this is becoming a way for me to tell you my journey and tell you my story while at the same time cringing and laughing at everything that I uh, used to make mostly cringing so if you haven't seen the other two episodes highly recommend them so you get caught up on what's going on maybe after this one after this one don't leave because we're starting from uh around the 2000 subscriber mark this year and let me tell you there is a lot of cringy shit like this one right here for example <laughs> check out that thumbnail bro like <laughs> okay I vividly remember making this intro. This is me playing Outlast 2. Here we go. Strap yourselves in. That's a contortionist right there. Do you work for Cirque du Soleil? Is that how they managed to do this? Oh my goodness, that is so bad. Not only is it a bad joke, but it's just a bad thing to do to somebody in general. <laughs> she came in like a freaking wrecking ball. <laughs> Get fired up, Kassan said he's here to put a smile on your freaking mug, and welcome back to Outlast 2! <laughs> Masterful edit. You learning something, Ollie? Do you work for Shark Disley? <laughs> That's bad! <laughs> this is what happens when you take a family-friendly channel and you uh, try to do an Outlast series on it. <laughs> it's really difficult to do. If that were me nowadays, I'd be like, damn, who stole Joe Biden's ball sack? <laughs> okay, next one. Oh, look, a FNAF video. No flashlight. No flashlight. Stop flashing your light. I'm going to walk around with the light off, and if I run into one of them... Ain't nobody going to catch me. I'm going to cry. How about that? How about that? But at least I can see their light, but I can't see Freddy. I can't see where Freddy is. I cannot see a freaking thing. Just don't walk into any lights. Other than the ones where you think you might be safe in, which is the ones that are under the roof, lighting the tables with the party hats, where the kids are supposed to be partying. Here comes Buddy! <laughs> Get fired up, Kassal said he's here to put a smile on your freaking mug! And welcome to... Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, go back, go back! What was I doing there? What did I think was, uh, that sped up footage that I thought was gonna be scary? Hey, God, uh, let me slow that back down real quick. <laughs> I literally took off my headphones and ripped off my hat. <laughs> Sped, on, sped it up, put a green filter on it, some VHS tape filter, and made it look scary. Yeah, I, that's actually not that bad, right? Like, it's a good attempt, I think. I think at this point, I had, like, less than a year's YouTube experience. Maybe it was a year. And I feel like my voice at this point is not as annoying as it was in the first episode of this year of, of me reacting to my old videos. Like, what year is this? This was uploaded in 2017. So yeah, it, it's literally been one year since I started my channel at this point. And you can tell I've actually grown as a personality because I'm not like just trying to imitate other YouTubers or trying to like be anything I'm not. You can tell at the beginning, like I haven't changed. I'm still freaking out on games like this and I'm just ranting. The first thing that comes to mind is like, if you rant as much as you can, it'll be less scary. It never fucking works, but it's typically my coping mechanism. I think I'm gonna scrub through this video because it's really interesting to see like what I was doing with my horror content back in the day. Let's see. It's only a six minute episode for some reason. I clicked the night one, but then that's where it all sunk. Like that's where my, that's where my liver just kind of shut down and my pancreas was just like, why the hell did you just do this? So. Now, I'm wondering why I did this and my mouse is not working. Neither is my what in the world? There you can tell you can tell I'm still I'm still like fishing for content. I'm still like fishing for things to say because I I I was under the impression that dead air equaled bad, so I had to like talk as much as possible. And I was just practicing saying random shit to the point where it just now natural. The bullshit I say. <laughs> this is FNAF 1. 
Five nasty ass okay. fools. Hey, what is up with the flashlight? What is up with the flashlight? Dude, I don't recall remembrance in my brain that I told you guys that this was a freaking demo. Can we get something scary happening? <gasps> Please. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. It's cute. I'm not cringing at it. It's cute. Barney it's cute. It's alive and well. No. Run. Run. She's coming. He. Remember Bonnie, Eddie, Bonnie. Every single time you play a FNAF game, you will always call Bonnie a she. Viewers that pass by your channel quickly begin to judge you because you call her a she. And some of them actually get offended. And to those I say, help me. Bonnie, this she's walking around with the he is walking around with the guitar, and Freddy's got the mic. Now the Bonnie Dad just has cool shoes. I played so many Freddy fan games, but I still don't learn that if I run into an animatronic, I will lose. But who cares? I do it for the view. So is my goal? I mean, of course, my goal is just to survive. I just answer what? my own. I, yo, hold up. The edit. I'm gonna see how this video ends. Cause Man, come on. I could have at least gotten the jump scare out of that or something, you know, like... What? What's happening? No! No, no, no! I know this feeling! Ah! What? Oh god! Dude, run! Run! Freaking run right now! No, no, no! Done! The night vision! Use the night vision! Dude, you got this! Come on! Run underneath the thing! Go, 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 go! You got somebody behind you! Don't stop it! Throw the cornfield! Oh, crap! Gotta take it! Hey, yo, what? Hey, yo, what? Hold up! Hold up! Yo, what? Did I actually use- hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, I see what I did there. I used Five Nasty Ass Fools, the ending of Five Nasty Ass Fools, to promote my Outlast series that was coming out the next day. That's why it was green and VHS tape. I, I see you, Sauce Eddie, but back in the day, what the f bro? That was- well played, well played. Now, I know this says 77,000 views on the first Outlast episode, but that was definitely, like, cumulative over the years and not what it was like. The, I got, like, 100 views or something the first time I uploaded it. Where's that video with the rap, though? Hold up. Look at this thumbnail. Holy shit. <laughs> Hit me with the fire. Come on. Nice choice of music, by the way, man. Ah. Oh. I gotta jump in on this. I gotta where's 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 my phone? There they are. There they are. I gotta jump in. You guys ready? Come on, man. Check it. I'm playing final hours cause I feel like getting burned. I've played so many Freddy fan games, but I still don't learn that if I run into an animatronic, I will lose. But who cares? I do it for the views And so I'm running and sneaking and hiding and sticking to corners While these guys are sleeping Cause I'm a saucy ninja Here comes another free room five nights that you guys will love Cause Saw said he's here to play it So get fired up Woo! <laughs> I'm a saucy ninja! <laughs> what am I doing bro? Stop! It was kind of fire until the, the singing bit, but... <laughs> Saucy ninja, because I'm a saucy ninja. Because <laughs> obviously my channel name was Sauce Eddie. I think I used to have this thing where like, if I played stealth games, I would call myself a saucy ninja. And so I was doing a callback to my stealth games. I guess looking back, like nothing's really changed. Like I'm still doing the same thing. I'm just still doing me. Rapping and screaming and rambling when I get scared. <laughs> <laughs> Except now I do it in Spanish and I say shit and f <laughs> All right, we got to find something juicy and cringy. We got to find the thing. Oh, here's another rap for Final Hours 2. So the second one came out and I did another rap. Oh boy. And this time I was <laughs> wearing my Pokemon vest that I ordered from Amazon. This message goes out to all you dudes and gals down in the comments that say really nasty things to me when I make fun of your favorite animatronics. Come on, <laughs> let's be friends, this is comedy. 
final hours too is out i'm bringing you this verse because when it comes to spitting licks you know i'm not the worst because five years what i'm good at starting you know that i'll even keep calling bonnie a girl just to make you mad see it ain't the fact that i'm misunderstanding what you're saying so upsetting just keep setting up the message i'm displaying i'm saying that no matter how many times you say that bonnie's a dude that i am so rude i'm gonna make sure that you see the truth stop when I'm saying she's a chick, I'm playing In the comments, you'll be slaying me Saying that I suck cause I ain't getting it So I bring it, stick it, reuse it And regurgitate it just to prove to you That I'm the one that got the joke resuscitated Cause this is a comedy, kidding is not an anomaly So many mother pluggers think I'm stupid in my psychology But I'm slick with it and I slip in The bunny's a chick, so look down and frown When you found that this rabbit doesn't have a d Bunny's a girl <laughs> <laughs> Hold up, first of all, fire. I I say seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. Nice, nice attempt. But I really don't remember that I used to have this thing with Bonnie where I would misgender Bonnie just to piss people off and all the FNAF fan babies would come crying in the comments it's not so different from what I did with my VR FNAF series and what I do with FNAF now when I call Kentucky Kentucky and I call everybody different names everybody's like oh no that's Chica you you got to avoid the oh you can't say that because that's baby and baby is a girl like <laughs> stop it Get some help. I I'm still looking for the cringe. That was not cringy to me. That was actually like pretty good. My Mario Kart series. At this point, I had done how many episodes? I was like over 30 Mario Kart episodes. What was go what was going on at this point? Rosalina! God dang it, Rosalina! No, I said I was gonna get <laughs> Catch my breath. Okay. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> uh, oh, I, need, I need some water. I just made my head hurt. I got I gave myself a little tension headache right now just from like laughing too long and not breathing because that was too fing cringe. I still do that though. F damn it. <laughs> I just watching this video, I'm defaulting to like the high pitch, like oh, damn! At this point in my YouTube career, I was really inspired by Dashi's Mario Kart videos because he was someone that I really looked up to when it came to gameplays, even before I started YouTube. So that's why I started a Mario Kart series because I was I was inspired by him a lot. This is the part from the stay intro. Stay away from the blast. Stay away from the blast. Got a blue shell. Good. Good. Uh huh. Good. Oh, 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 dude! No, don't, don't, no, 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 Rosalina, Rosalina. Do I still I'm win it? Rosalina. No, I said I was gonna get first! Ooh! First! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Shame! <laughs> what? Yo! Dude! Dude! More Mario Kart videos. Funny highlights. Did I make a highlight out of this? Okay, one sec. <laughs> Hilarious Outlast 2 is not scary with funny background music, episode seven highlights. Banger video, banger thumbnail. <laughs> Let, let's Get see fired up, Casal said he's here to put a smile on your freaking mug and welcome back to Outlast 2. Wait, Eddie, I know you're excited to keep going, but guys, I completely forgot to record the game sound for this episode. But in return, I've managed to put some funny music and make some highlights out of it, and it turned out hilarious. So I hope that you guys enjoy this. Go! Close this. God dang it, close this. Okay, so Jesus it's an entire Christ. episode of Outlast. Go that way, go that way, go that way. Go that way! Go that way. Put oh, new God music it. The, the over spikes. it. The spikes. And every time I get run, shot, run, run, I would run, put a little coin sound. Slide, run. There we go. There we go. Okay, go through here. Go through here. <laughs> Imagine if I like posted an episode of Spider-Man 2 or God of War nowadays that I forgot to record the sound and instead of like going through the brain melting process of re-recording it, I decided to just put sound over it. Yeah, nah, bruh. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> Let's just hope that Larry doesn't know how to aim. Let's just really. I could have picked really over put our any chips other. Into, God dang it! That, that, okay, that's why. We Scary music, baby. The wall so that we can heal. Heal yourself right now. 
Dude. <laughs> it definitely takes away all jump scares and all scary factor of the game, dude. But I had to keep a daily upload schedule because that's just the goal I had set for myself. Even if it meant uploading random shit, like a random vlog called Eaten Alive While Vlogging. Vlog number eight. Holy shit, I had done eight vlogs by this point. The mosquitoes out here are just... I mean, I'm talking about in Texas, we have the really skinny ones with huge legs. And over here, these guys are, these mosquitoes are fat. They're nasty. They got some fat fucking mosquitoes about the size of this ball right here. You can like grab them and make this noise out of mosquitoes in Michigan, bro. Like, they got some fucked up looking mosquitoes that will just eat you. Like they don't suck your blood. Like they literally chew on you, bro. That looks cool, doesn't it? Yeah, it's way out hey, of focus, focus, dog. There you go. That, looks, that looks pretty cool. This is this is nice. I like this. I've always enjoyed going through nature trails, and I guess this was my test to see if my audience would have enjoyed me doing like more laid back content, like vlogging in the woods while I was just like camping or another one of my favorite hobbies is photography and going out and getting lost either in a big city or in the woods with a camera and all I have to do is just take pictures. That's like my dream time off for me. I don't post or talk a lot about what I do outside of the channel, but I guess there you go. You learn something new. It's weird not recording videos for an entire uh, four days. Like all the ones that you guys have been seeing uh, for the past one, two, three days. <laughs> this is all confusing now. But all the ones you guys have been seeing um, were pre-recorded and uh, it took it took a lot of work. Man, I'm so glad I stumbled upon this because I actually vividly remember this moment. Like, man, I want y'all to see this, bro. Like, look, May 27th, one video. May 29th, May 29th. For some reason, I had this like idea that I had to catch up on the days that I had missed. So I uploaded on May 29th, two videos. And then on May 30th, before the vlog, I published three videos on the same day. Full-fledged edited videos that I edited myself for 300 views. Now, this was not, remember, this is views now after a few years. We're talking like maybe 40, 50 views at the time. I, I know I said this in a video that I watched on either episode two or episode, I can't remember which one, but I said before that I wanted to treat my channel as if I was already a big YouTuber and that one day I would become a big YouTuber. And and this the proof is in the pudding. I was putting in the fucking work, man. Like this was my dream, bro. Okay, uh, look, listen, I, I cry every single one of these videos for some reason. I I'm not gonna cry today, I promise. F there was no reason for me to go that hard. I could have, like, taken a step back and analyzed the channel a bit better, see what worked, see what didn't, but I didn't know those things. All I had in my mind is I want YouTube to be my full-time work. I didn't really care about, like, subscribers that much clearly because if I would have been focusing on subscribers I would have gotten like discouraged and I knew I didn't have time to get discouraged when I had a dream to chase as cheesy as that sounds it's the truth all I wanted was to be able to make videos every day and not have to worry about food on the table Fuck. here I go now so <laughs> Spoiler alert, there is a big downfall arc that you guys don't even know about. And maybe one day I'll open up and talk about it, but it's the 2019 saga. <laughs> For now, we're still in 2017. I'm vlogging. I really, I haven't found like that many cringe things, man. Like I feel like I grew a lot in the year that I had been making YouTube up to this point. For 2000 subscribers, I'm working on I'm working on some merchandise. I'll, I'll, I'll spill the beans. I'm working on some merchandise. Like, um, I want to get wristbands that say, uh, that say get fired up on them. They'll be cheap. They'll, 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 be, they'll be accessible for everyone, but... Um. <laughs> wristbands, bro. Wristbands. The start of it all. From wristbands to... Man, I'm just so fucking grateful. The boys dot store has surpassed beyond being just a place where the boys release merch. Like I'm so proud to 
be able to say that we've developed a clothing company that goes beyond like YouTuber merch, like designs that people on the streets are like, where did you get that? You know, like, I'm so, man. <laughs> Seeing the beginning of this is like, oh man. <laughs> If only Saul said he knew what was coming. And Saul, thanks to you, of course. Okay, I, I, man, I, I'm supposed to be reacting to videos, not getting emotional about stuff. Another epic rap, Slime Thug. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the f bro? Are you fired up? You got a smile on your mug. Are you fired up? Ha! <laughs> oh, is that my character? You got a smile oh, on your mug. Oh, yeah, girl. Here we go. We're going to play a new game, Slime. Ooh, I get to name my game. I don't know what energy I was on. You know, I like to be a little sucker giddy. Little kitty sucker main cat. That one right there. Yeah. Select the game mode. Yeah, I remember I told y'all I like playing different characters, right? Back in the day. And there was this particular one. Where you at, Satan? <laughs> Where you at, Satan? I heard you. Show you what I got, girl. I can shoot. I can kill. Clack, 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 clack. But I don't curse. I stay sane. Yeah, that's the same character I'm playing here. Live the life of a slime rancher, thugger, and explore the wonders of far, far range at your own pace. Gabby? What you? What is this? Gabby brought me food. Hello. <laughs> it's uh chicken breast, roasted carrots, roasted acorn squash with a pecan, uh cinnamon sage brown butter sauce and fluffy white rice. I'm reacting to my old videos. Mm -hmm. Have you always been this short? Yeah. <laughs> I want you to see this. There's one of you. Oh God. Get fired up, Kasaw said he's here to put a smile on your freaking mug and welcome. To <laughs> <laughs> it works. <laughs> oh my God. Gabby, Gabby. Oh, look, no Gabby. One. Wait, hold up. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the camera down so you can see you. Get, get in the frame. <laughs> We've both changed so much. <laughs> yes, dude. Couple glow up. What? Couple, couple glow up. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm trying not to cry this time around. Yeah, how's it going? Uh, not good. Not great. <laughs> Thanks for the food. I will uh, eat it in just a little bit once I finish this video. Thank you. Wife goals right there. All right, back to this one. I like this beat though. <laughs> All right, let's check that star man. All right, here we go. He likes to beat. Say to me, Thor West. Welcome to the range exchange. I'm not reading all this, girl. What you think I went to school? Mm -mm. <laughs> what? Here we go. Slime Rancher. You know I don't want your slime thugger in the house. You know the name, don't you? If you don't, you better look behind you. Because I'm about to hit you like an avalanche. It's all steady. I don't know what come from overseas. If you listen real closely, you can hear the breeze. See, I'm going to get rich from selling cheese. This song's got me messed up. I'm about to, <laughs> I'm about to sneeze. Ugh, nice. Sneeze. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Though, I don't know why I said I came from overseas. That was... Okay. <laughs> Across the river. Different. <laughs> A one minute and 55 second vlog of me playing with helium with... Helium with my girlfriend. Don't try this at home. <laughs> no way. You ready for this? <laughs> you try now. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. Get fired up, you saw that he's here to put a smile on your freaking mug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gabby's, Gabby was so supportive, dude. Listen to her laughing at this shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, you try. You try, go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think this takes better. Definitely. <laughs> but it was more like... <laughs> Wait a minute. Look at that. Look at the bottom left corner. Ollie, investigate. Zoom in. That is an Oculus CV1. The very first Oculus consumer headset. Spoiler alert! <laughs> I'm like about to do the outro. And don't forget to keep on smiling and subscribe! Woo! <laughs> Bro, <laughs> that was what I thought was content back in the day. Oh man. It's time for my very first 
VR video ever. I forgot I did this actually. Now peep the thumbnail game, all right? I want y'all to see what my mastermind thought was good thumbnails for a super hot VR series. This was before the one on Eddie VR that ended up being a fucking banger. Me with the headset on the body of Neo with the Matrix for episode one. <laughs> for episode two, it's the same shit. But I've got some bullets coming into frame that you can barely see. And for episode three, wait for it, more bullets on the frame. But, 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 wait, for episode four, way more bullets on the frame. How's that for an epic thumbnail? Take that, Mr. Beast. Should we watch some of it? What was my very first VR video like? Please let that work. God damn, I was skinny as f bro. I filmed this in my living room. Wait, 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 wait. No way, dude. Okay, hold on. My desk back then was some shit I found at Goodwill. It was like this little rolling cart. It was like this big. It's just a rolling cart made out of metal. And I had my monitor, my PC, and a keyboard underneath it. It was a pull-out desk that I bought for like $5. And I dragged the entire setup out of my bedroom and put it in the living room. Like I had a little mobile cart that actually ended up being fucking useful because I could drag it around whenever I needed to do VR videos. I remember I scratched up my headset so bad, the lenses on it, because I had to wear my glasses in the headset because I had shit vision, like super shit vision. I couldn't see like two feet in front of me that I had to wear the glasses even inside the headset in order for me to see. So I ended up ruining the headset and my glasses. I got my right hand, but I don't have my left hand. It's down there. Pick it up. Pick up your left hand. You're not going to pick up your left hand, dude. That's not how VR works. I'm dead. <laughs> Super hot. Super hot. All right, I'll stop. Grab that. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it might seem like I was having fun at the time playing with my VR headset, which yeah, I was, I f***ed up. I was supposed to max out my credit card in order to buy this headset. Instead, I ended up buying it with my checking account. And I was only getting like 600 bucks every two weeks from my job. And all of it would go to rent and food and spending five or six hundred dollars on a VR headset straight from the checking account put me in a situation where I only had four dollars in my bank account and Gabby and I obviously sp would split all the bills together and I remember that having to tell Gabby the news that I had four dollars in my bank account and I wasn't going to be able to pay the rent or groceries because I bought a gaming headset for my YouTube channel was one of the most like shameful moments that feeling of shame that i felt and having to go and confront her and tell her that i had fucked up it was a very impactful moment in my life now she didn't take it as bad as i thought she would she's a saint thank god and we worked it out but it just strengthened my resolve that i had to make this thing work that because I had put her through that that month and not being able to pull my own weight on food and rent, I had to prove something. I had to prove that this thing wasn't just a waste of time and it wasn't just me like playing games and f***ing off. I had to make it work. Like now I had even a, a, an even bigger reason. And uh, yeah, any, anyway, that's uh, the not so cheery story behind my very first VR headset that <laughs> I f***ed up. I also made a masterpiece video titled No Stream Today, but <laughs> what the f is this, man? You want to do the intro? Hey, you want to say get fired up? You want to say hi to the sauce fam? The sauce here. fam. Look over here. There you go. <laughs> the sauce fam. <laughs> so I just finished another epic Zelda stream, and um, I just want to thank you guys. We hit trending again, and it was... I, these these streams have been very successful for the channel lately. That's my very first time that like I was hitting like trending gaming with a couple hundred viewers, right? But it was still like, man, at this point it was like it was such a big leap coming from the zero viewers that I had for the previous year. I accidentally scheduled one for today and I forgot that it was Father's Day. So uh, I'm Family gonna go man. spend some time with my old man. But yeah, I'm gonna make it up to you tomorrow 
4 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'll be back on. I usually do episodes on Mondays, but I'm going to do a stream. And I want you guys to tell me what kind of stream you want to see. Give me some ideas. Shout it off in the comments below. An announcement video of why I didn't upload. <laughs> Classic. Fast forward to August 31st of 2017. We hit 5,000 subscribers. These uh, milestone videos that I made are some of the most wholesome, like, innocent content I think I have on my channel. But what is this? This is a try not to laugh challenge. Princess Peach edition. Me and Princess Peach had like the worst relationship when it came to Mario Kart. I fucking hate the bitch. All right, here we go. Bruh. I'm hit with I, the feels. I never really know how to start one of these videos. I... Milestones are so, they're so hard to make. <laughs> because I'm just so overwhelmed with, uh, with, with happiness and, uh, it just kind of gets in the way with what I thought I wanted to say. We just hit 5,000 subscribers. And, uh... I just want to say thank you. I never... I never know what to... I just don't know how to handle these videos. <laughs> um... <clears throat> seriously 5,000 of you that's that's a lot it just it feels like just yesterday that we did a 2,000 subscriber video and now there's 5,000 of you and and I just feel so grateful it started getting um, faster and faster and faster the more momentum I built the first hundred were the hardest ones man it was in my opinion a lot harder to get to 100 subscribers than it was to get to my first million because you're testing the waters you don't know what's going on and it's the most trying of times when no one no one is watching it's a mental game and the first hundred is fucking hard mentally all of you new guys that are just subscribing welcome to the sauce fam it is the a sauce fam i forgot i called my audience the sauce to fam. make videos for y'all <clears throat> and uh then i just i just can't thank you enough for everything that you do you have changed my life and i mean that i still feel that way you guys did change my fucking life for real Okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. But I wanted to do something fun for y'all today. Now, recently, I uploaded a Mario Kart video. <laughs> Wait, and, uh, hold up. That's just why. Hold recently, up. It goes from like, I love you guys. All right, let's do something fun. Let's laugh. Ooh. <laughs> Due to the results of that versus race, no spoilers. Man, I really like took my Mario Kart series as like a show. Like, no spoilers. You have to watch the episodes. Honestly, the Mario Kart gameplays are probably up there in like my top all time series that I ever did on my channel. And if I laugh, I'm going to play as Princess Peach on Mario Kart 8. <laughs> Here's all the compilations of every single time that bitch beat me. Right at the end. There she goes. One, two, three. Why did I decide to do this? <laughs> Get my game face on. <laughs> Me and Peach had a vendetta. Yeah, innocent times. If I laugh, I'll play as Princess Peach. <laughs> That's cute, man. Oh, there I am playing as Princess Peach. Look at that fucking thumbnail, bro. <laughs> I hated her that much. Look at all the... Bro, look at all of the YouTube-generated thumbnails. That was my face to hold... Wait, hold on. Look at my face. <laughs> no way. No intro? No get fired up? <laughs> Wait a minute. Nuh uh. The entire video is just me. Nuh uh. I did that an entire video when I didn't say shit and was just pissed off because I had to play as Princess Peach. Nuh uh, bro. Look. Do I win though? Oh man, just getting hit by the items. <laughs> Look at my face. <laughs> I was so pissed that I won. 
<risa> no. <risa> Ay, cabrón. I finished first place again. <laughs> nah, -uh. that's a masterpiece. Not gonna lie. Do I win again? <laughs> No way. <laughs> perfect run. I was so pissed. It was so hard to get a perfect run because of this bitch. How does this video end? <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. A masterpiece to the couple of thousand people that had been watching my entire series. This was a pivotal moment. What the f is this? Eduardo Salsa. My name is Eduardo Salsa. And today we're playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. As you know before, I played with Saucedi in a race and I win. That means I get to play as Golden Mario first. And today we're gonna do it. There's like a whole storyline in these videos. Gabriela! I want to see what she says. <laughs> Eduardo Salsa. <laughs> I'm Wario right off the bat. Mendiga Princesita better not be in here. Let's check it out. Look at him. He looks good. I like him. You remember this? Yeah, I remember. Can I ask you something? Hmm. Did I ever walk into the living room or the kitchen or anywhere in the house with that outfit on and start talking to you like that? Yeah. I did? Yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> did you ever walk into the bedroom like that? No, don't answer that. Don't answer that. Don't answer that. Your studio was in the bedroom. Remember? <laughs> True. 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 Little did y'all know I was in my tidy whities when I recorded these videos. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the whole thing with this character was that my mustache would fall off and I would like always try to put it back on and I would always tell the audience my mustache is real. Like I always try to play it off. Let me see if it falls off this. See, there it is. <laughs> the mustache had a life of its own. I think his name was Flavio. It's real. It's real. I'm not lying. I promise. It's okay. We're good. I didn't even watch the high lines, but that's okay. We're in the wild <laughs> <Bruh>. <laughs> Any other place where his, the mustache falling off was what I thought was funny back in the day. Played Red Shell, you ain't getting me right now. All right, first place. Let's go, my boy. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> the f***, bro? <laughs> Okay, let's watch the highlight. <laughs> oh man, I actually miss this so much. Got my victory hat. How you like that, Saucedi? <laughs> Saucedi taught me how to do an outro, <laughs> so I'm gonna attempt to do his outro. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Make sure you give the like button some love. And don't forget to keep on smiling and subscribe. Whoa! Is that how you do it? Okay, how you turn this thing off? Do you do it with the camera? Is it the camera? Is there a button on the on the there's a there's not do you just cover it up? Okay. <laughs> Mexican uncles be like, Mijo, can you show me how to work in Facebook? How do I log in? <laughs> oh man. That's that's gold. Okay, I know a FNAF VR challenge. We I teased it. I, I said it earlier and I completely forgot I got sidetracked. Let's see what this is. Today we're doing a VR 360 experience. Is that what it's called? Oh, it's a, it's a challenge. It's a, it's a Five Nights at Freddy's challenge in VR. I'm talking to like literally the room. Like, is that what it's called? Like, 
<laughs> I really played into like the drunk Mexican uncle persona, like not understanding shit about technology. And I don't, f I actually don't find it like that cringe. I don't know. What do you think of Eduardo Salsa down in the comments? Would you have watched his videos? <laughs> I mean, you are watching my <laughs> videos. What am I talking about, Brazzy? All right, let's watch. Hello? Escari to Hari. I got a sneeze. Ago, so hang on, hang on. <laughs> ah, my mustache fell off from the sneeze. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Where's my mustache? Oh, I found it. It's, it's real. I promise. It's real. No, no problem. It's, it's a real mustache. I promise. Here we go. Let's do this. Okay, let's try this again. It should be on correctly. To sneeze is my ultimate enemy. <laughs> You gotta remember, this is like one of the first scary experiences in VR. I am a freaking mustache fell off my face. What the hey, you're here. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> it's real. Bro, it's character real. for a second. It got too scared. It, it's really scared. And it just wants to go hide under the covers, but I'm not gonna let it. It's gonna stay on my face. Okay, but thank you very much for watching. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy the video. I don't know how to do an outro like Saucedim. But I'll see you guys next time. In the meantime, I'm gonna go try and keep this thing glued to my face. I mean, I, I'm gonna go uh, put some aftershave on because all I did was shave. That's all. I'm real. I'm not Saucedi. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually like pretty good content in my opinion. All I said was, oh ma, oh ma, no, no mames, my mustache is real. But I mean, <laughs> I guess there's nothing different now. <laughs> Incredible realistic modded Minecraft survival episode one. No way. No, this is my attempt again to make another Minecraft series because every single one I tried to start, like Saucecraft and the original one from like 2016, always failed and they never took off. And I would like try to reinvent the wheel in a way. Like this time I was, I just put some mods in and tried to see if this one would stick and never really worked. But let, let, let's see, let, let, let's see what happens. Get fired up, because Saucet is here to put a smile on your freaking mug. And today we're playing. Wait, Meh. can you see the confidence now? Like the intro doesn't sound as cringe. Do you see the growth? There, there's more, there's, there's confidence. Today we're playing. Meh. <laughs> Excuse me, what? Meh. <clears throat> It just won't come out. Today, we're playing with... <clears throat> Last time. This time, we'll get it right. Today, <laughs> we're playing Minecraft. Ali, you see these edits, bro? Bet you won't do that to me right now. Minecraft. Enjoy this good music. Listen to it. I'm dead! I'm dead! God, stupid, dang it! <laughs> Why would you do that to yourself? I sound like Tobuscus, dude. You can definitely see a lot of the influence from like all of these big YouTubers that I used to look up to, like kind of come through these older videos. All right, let's see if anything interesting actually happens in this Minecraft episode or if it's just me walking around. Oh no, I start singing again. Oh, little cow, don't cry. Cause if you do, I'm gonna make you die. Don't move. Cause when you do, if you move, then I'm about to hit you up on your face, girl. Yeah, right in the face, girl, you dead. <laughs> okay, all right. Wasn't that, I thought it was going to go cringe, oh, dead. but it bounced back. Okay, first things first. To give my little character with the smile, bro. If I have, have I explained the intro? What my uh, what my thought was behind get fired up because Sauce Eddie's here to put a smile on your freaking mug. The idea was mug equals face, like mean mugging. So like if this is mug, like a mug shot, I'm gonna put a smile on it. You know, that was the idea behind the intro. But people thought I was talking about like coffee mugs and it was confusing. And I decided to make my logo, just my glasses and a smile and that was my minecraft character little sauce eddie my nikki nikki wait hold me. up what did i just say <laughs> my cole nicole my nikki nikki <laughs> you're mine 
You're my one and only girl. You're the girl who likes it. Nikki, like, nickname for Nicole. Cole. No way. <laughs> my Cole, Nicole, my Nikki. Nikki, you're mine. You're treading some dangerous waters there, my boy. <laughs> it's a whole gaggle of Nikki's. It's a school of Nikki's. All of you are in here just hanging out. You, you, you guys are just waiting for me. You guys. There was an innocent intent behind it. Nick. Next video before I get myself canceled. <laughs> Reacting to seeing snow for the first time in Texas. This was a big deal. This was the car dealership I used to work at. Oh! 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 It's snowing! Dude! It's snowing in South Texas, baby! Oh! No way! Look! Look at this! Oh! Oh! Mm. Mm. It tastes... <laughs> just like ice cream! No, it didn't, bro. It tastes like car hood. There's a snowball, too! Snow, baby! That was it. That was it. That was a whole episode. <laughs> this is a difficult decision. The future of the Sauce Eddie channel. Oh no. Fired up, Sauce Fam. As you can tell, I've had a very. I tried changing the intro. A hard time sleeping because I've had to make a very difficult decision. Bruh, you should see yourself now. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not quitting YouTube. And I'm not That's gonna right. start a toy review channel or teach you how to make gummies out of prescription bottles. <laughs> I'm simply <laughs> taking my widespread channel and narrowing it down and turning it into a more focused Good channel. idea. Let me explain. See, if you go to my channel and you scroll down to the popular uploads, the top two are to be continued compilations uh, with almost 100,000 views. And, and then you get down to the uh, Five Nights at Freddy's tutorials. There's horror games, there's Zelda and Ark Survival. And all of these have tens of thousands of, of views each. And then you look at my, uh, at my most recent uploads and you have uh, uh, Minecraft and VR games that have 131 views in a day, man. That's now commendably, that is a lot more than previously, but the amount of like effort going into these videos and episodes sometimes felt like it, it was a pill that was hard to swallow. The amount of views that were coming in per episode. I can basically summarize this video up for you, but I was being a student of my own content, a student of my own craft. I'm trying to learn and experiment with new things until I find the thing that takes off for me. And the idea to laser focus the content was a good idea. However, the way I went about it was not a good idea. And I was about to learn a very hard lesson. Let's keep watching. Let's let's, let's watch the, the, the decision of what I was going to do. You can see it over time in the Zelda content. See, the views went up as I continued to gain new subscribers, new viewers that liked my Zelda content. During that time, I went from like 1500 subscribers to over 5000. That is a huge growth for my channel. And on top of that, I was making content that I truly loved from here on out. Sauce Eddie will only serve Mexican food at his restaurant. Hey, that's what I'm talking about! <laughs> <laughs> I knew that would make you happy. What I mean by that is that the Sauce Eddie channel will now focus solely on Nintendo content. Hey, spoiler alert, that was a fail. That was a bad decision because I didn't realize that the Zelda content I had made was 
obviously a trendy topic at the time. The live streams did well because I had big concurrent viewers that equaled more views. It didn't necessarily mean that all of my content should have switched over to Nintendo content, especially at a time where I was obsessed with Fortnite and I never made Fortnite content on the channel. This was back when Fortnite was still in phase one. It was like in its very early stages. It had just come out, I believe, I think like Ninja wasn't even a big deal yet. And I remember sitting at this crossroads at the time and I was like, okay, how do I focus my channel? Should I take a chance on this new game that came out that I don't know if it's gonna get views or not and live stream this Fortnite game? Or should I just go full on Nintendo content? And I saw flashy lights and was like, let's go full Nintendo content. And I made Nintendo content for a few months and completely missed the Fortnite train. I used to beat myself up for this because I thought, man, I had a gut feeling. I knew I should have gone for Fortnite. I missed the train and I could have been a big YouTuber by now. But <laughs> now looking back at it, I'm glad I didn't do the Fortnite content because God knows where I'd be right now if I would have got if I would have done Fortnite. So you're welcome. <laughs> Scariest moments in Fortnite like Mexican. <laughs> Anyway, you can see that this decision did not last long because I tried playing Nintendo games and was literally getting like way less views than I was in other stuff. And then here I am making another update video saying I'm taking back what I said before about changing my channel and uh, this shit ain't working. Well, 2018 is already started and I'm sitting here not knowing what to do. I've... I really, I really don't know how to express the way that I'm uh, feeling lately. Uh, I strongly believe I've made a mistake. It wasn't that like dire though. Like it felt so dire because this was what I wanted to be my livelihood, but it really wasn't like that big of a deal. Like just make content, just change it back up. Just do what works for you and what you enjoy. And I was just really lost. I think at this point, things were really starting to get to me. Look, things are looking hopeful for Saucetti at this point. We're, we've, we've reached 2018. And I want you guys to see this. In 2017, I went from like 600 views in a day with my whole archive of videos. And then there was a big spike because of the live streams. These, this was the Zelda live streams. This is what the Zelda live streams did for me. And then everything dropped again. I changed my channel to Nintendo and it dipped. I tried coming back and things were actually looking up for 2018. 2017 was the most successful year financially that I had ever had on YouTube. It was my first full year from January to December making YouTube videos. I made a total of $387.00. Fuck man. That I remember the feeling of that. That felt so good. Like to see that, that that was like my car payment. Like that, that just started to become real, dude. Like it was, it was such a big deal to me. And little did I know that 2018 was going to be one of the biggest years so far up until that point, which I'm gonna have to save for the next time we do this and I take you on this journey again. Maybe I'll do it sooner. It depends on you guys. I might feel nostalgic again in a couple of months and just do this again. Or maybe I'll just wait till next year because this is like a yearly thing now. But 2018 was huge. 2018, I reached 100,000 subscribers. I got my first play button. And then 2019, everything fell apart. And I'll leave that story for another time. Thank you so much for watching another episode of me reacting to my old videos. If you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed my old video, let me know down in the comments what you guys thought. There was a lot. We covered a lot. But again, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. So thank you. I love you guys. And I'm going to see you next time. Happy 2023 uh, end of the year. Love y'all. Bye. <laughs>